Okay, right here you can see where she started staining the wall before you go into the back door. This is another part before she finished it up. And then here it is completely finished. It looks really great. She did a real good job. Okay, right here I'm putting the shower pan in there so that I can kind of see how far it comes out so that we can put the tape on the floor and mark out exactly where we need to build the walls to close the shower in. So that's what I'm doing right here with the level, trying to level down, get a reference point of where the wall actually needs to start. On this back wall, part of it's straight, part of it's rounded. So I'm gonna have to rip some two by fours down to different widths, three or four of them, to get them in there so this wall, back wall will be straight to fit that shower. Okay, now I'm marking out the reference lines on the floor so we can put our painter's tape down and then we can mark on that where the openings are for the doors. Now we have the tape down. We need to measure it out, mark our openings and stuff, then we can start building the walls. What I'm gonna do now is start laying this out for the bathroom wall. And it's gonna be 24 inches. Forward, and the top is going to be a little more than that because it's going to come all across like a header. And now we've got it laid out. That's going to be a wall to like right here somewhere, well, all the way over to there. There'll be a small door right there. The shower is going to be over there. That's where the shower pan is going to go. And then there'll be a composting toilet over here. And that wire is for, it will have a 12 volt exhaust fan that blows out of the side of the camper for the composting toilet. That's the plan so far, but we've got it laid out, got it measured out for the door and the shower pan. We just gotta, we got to build that wall out a little bit, right here a little bit to meet the pan. That way, when we put the, the sh shower surround in, it'll have something to screw to and to hold it in there. I now have to cut some wood and right inside the door there's a piece of floor that has nothing under. I've got to build that up to hold the wall and then we can start building the wall. You can see right here as I was cutting that piece of wood, the screw came out of the safety guard. So I had to take a few minutes to put the screw back in it and fix that so I won't cut my finger off. Right here you can see where we had to add on to that right there. When we first built this thing, we stopped right here because we thought it was going to come when we put the floor in we thought it was going to come to right there we decided to make that wall a little wider so we had to build this in right there so that's what i was cutting the wood for just a minute ago for for this right here and then we'll do some more of this hardwood flooring that'll go around the edge to finish that off Right here, I'm just kind of double checking everything, make sure it's right before I start building my walls.
Sorry for the voiceover. There was a motorcycle pulled up outside somewhere and you couldn't hear it. That thing sounded good, but it was loud. But right now I'm putting the studs into the wall. This drill I'm picking up now has a countersink bit into it so that I won't split the, the wood on the wall studs when I put the screws in. Also, this wall will have plywood on the inside of it and the way I have it measured out, hopefully it's correct that that, that tub will fit in there, or the, the pan will fit in there snug all the way around. And on these other walls, some of these walls are straight, some of them are curved, the exact same wall. So I'm gonna have to rip every single two by four to a specific width so that it'll fit in the different spots all the way around the rest of the wall. So let's get these up and start doing some measurements and get the rest of them cut. This stud that I'm putting in right here, it's at the very end of the wall. I'm not gonna leave it there. I'm just fitting it up there to make sure that it fits right and that it's in the right location for me to tie the other section of the wall into it. I'm not even gonna build the other section of the wall right now. I wanna get the shower and everything in before I start that. That way I have plenty of room to get the tin in there for the shower surround and the plywood and stuff. This stud that I'm putting in here right now is turned sideways because up at the top I will drill a hole and that will be the one that I will mount the shower head in and then I'll still have enough room on the inside of the wall for the pipes to run up the 2x4 stud that I've got there to the shower head and that's how I'm going to get water to the shower head. And I can also nail the plywood on that side of the wall to it. It's just a short wall. I think it's 24 inches. Right here where I'm sitting is going to be the bottom cabinet that will have the sink in it. And underneath that sink will be the water supply for the sink and the shower. It will be the water pump and it will also be the hot water heater that we're going to use. All that will be under the sink right here close to where it, the pipe needs to go up the wall to the shower head. As you can see the studs are up. I got my cross pieces in and now I've started putting the plywood on. Here's a couple of views of it. Okay, what I'm working on on the inside of the shower pan. And nothing about this nose is straight, so I'm building pretty much a box. This wall is in there, and you can see where it goes up against that. The back wall is not, so I put a two by four in there. And, well, that's actually a two by three. That's a two by four, and then it touches in this side of the wall. And I'm gonna rip a two by four to go in all the way up through there. Over here, a two by four will fit in the middle of that just fine. And then I'll shim it out all the way up with some stuff there. So when I build the box, then I can attach whatever shower surround, when she's wanting tin, that galvanized tin, it'll come down the wall and go on the inside of this lip right here. So that the water don't leak out, it'll come into the thing, into the tub itself. I've not got the hose for the floor or anything yet, through the floor. But that's what I'm working on right now. Okay, now I've got the studs in there behind it. So I'm gonna put the plywood on the wall. It'll come to right here and it'll go all the way to that corner. And the same thing from that corner all the way to there and up. And that will fit that shower pan in there snug. And it's gonna be an inch and a half off the floor. So let's we'll start doing some measuring, cut the plywood. Okay, that's the one I cut for the back wall. Let's take it in there and see if it fits. Now it's time to see if it fits in here. fit. Well, got lucky on that one. It is a good tight fit. So there's two of the walls. I've got one more to go. And the shower pan will be ready to start marking for the hose for the plumbing to go through the floor. Right here, I'm cutting the last piece for the wall. After this, then I can set the shower pan in there and make sure everything fits up good. 
now I'm marking it so I can cut the length off of the last piece and I can take it in there and put it on make sure it fits. Okay, there's the last piece cut for the shower. Let's take it and see if it fits. Okay, it's a good fit. I had to put a few more little pieces of studs in the wall to have something to nail it to and keep it straight. But it turned out good, it fits good. Now I'm nailing it in there. I wanna see what it looks like when I get it nailed in. Now that it's nailed in there, I want to put the shower pan in there just to see how snug it fits and make sure that everything's fine. I checked it before I nailed it, but when you nail it, it's a little tighter. So let's see what it looks like. All right, there's the tub sitting. There's a shower pan sitting in there. Got the walls done. It's sitting there all snug. Now I got to work on the little platform that's going to, that goes around the outside edge. Had two by sixes. And you get it built and then start marking it, cut the hole out for the drain and stuff. Then to be ready, start putting the shower surround around it. Let's get to it. Okay, now I'm working on the inch and a half thick platform for the shower pan to sit in. You can see that lip right there. I'm gonna put a two by six and a two, one by across the front, and then a one by will be around it. You can see where, I, this is made where the styrofoam under the pan fits right down on there. And then the one buys will go around the wall to hold the outside edge of it up. You can see the V I cut in there and that's where the drain will go down through the floor when we drill the hole in the floor. And like I was saying, it will have a one by all the way around the wall to hold up the outside edge. And then on the front, it'll be a one by and a two by six under that thicker part. So that if you step on it when you're getting in and out of the shower, you won't break it. And I'm also going to screw all these to the floor so that they will not move. Let's get it done. I'm trying to fit this thing in here and get the plumbing worked out, get it where we can actually mount it up here and try to get the tin around it, the shower surround in today. I don't know if that's going to work or not. It's been a long day already, but well, let's see what we can get done. And I'll show you. I don't know how other people do it, but we can see where we framed it in all the way around it with a shower tub. Now it's sitting in there right, we got all of it. That'll go, it's just not slid all the way up. Take it out. You can see how we got it framed in there where it supports it all the way around. That'll support it back there and get that all the way in there. So if you step on the outside edge, getting in or out, it is supported with a, a one by and a two by six. And all these, it's like a two by 10 or two by 12 that I got in there. Uh, one by three and two by four in the back. So everywhere where there's foam that's supposed to touch the floor will be sitting up an inch and a half. And the drain will be right there. So you can see where all the, everything goes. So now we're ready to, and everything's secure. Everything's already nailed in except that back little piece. And I'm, I'm gonna do that in just a second. And then we'll start working on cutting the hole for the drain and then we can put the uh we put all the stuff up here for the tin the shower surround well, let's get some more done and there it is got the drain in through the floor stubbed out underneath the trailer so now we're going to start putting putting the tub in for good securing it to the walls and then putting our shower surround in but it is there. That's exciting to get this much done. But this, this is pretty hard. Just a whole lot of brainstorming to get this part done. But I've never done anything like this before. And now it's there. Let's move on to the next thing. 
Now I'm putting the stainless steel screws in to hold the tub secured to the wall all the way around. Let's get them in there. You can see here where I'm pre-drilling the holes for the for that shower pan. I was afraid if I put screws straight through it, it might crack it because it's pretty thin and brittle up here on the top. So I went ahead and pre-drilled it for the stainless steel screws I'm putting in there to hold it in. Okay, there's the shower pan. Got stainless steel screws to hold it in place all the way around. Got the drain in. Now we're ready to start measuring and trying to put the shower surround in. But that's the pan. It is in there. That's going to be it for this video. In the next video, we will install the shower surround complete the wall and install the accordion door to the bathroom area that will close off the bathroom area from the rest of, of the trailer. I also want to take the time to thank to all the people who have watched and subscribed to our channel. It's because of you that we enjoy doing the content and putting it out there for everyone to see and I just want to say thank you so much and keep moving forward.